It's being called art, but it's also helping some older people reshape memories and keep their brains sharp as they age. Here's Dakari Turner with an art program at a nursing home in Baltimore and the gains they're noticing. Here, inside a Baltimore nursing home and beneath shelves stocked with accomplishments, a small group is working to re-illustrate their past a stroke at a time. They can do what they want. They have freedom here. The freedom to be creative, but maybe more importantly, the freedom to recreate. Oh, hilarious. That's Rachel Godsey, a 61-year-old retiree struggling with multiple sclerosis. When she's here among friends, she says she is completely in her element. It's stimulation of the cognitive thinking, okay? It helps keep me alive. And that's the thinking behind a new theory, that as we get older, there are different ways of keeping our minds and our memories sharp. That one way of doing it is through art. And as we grow older, we don't actually somehow just turn off the creativity spigot. The center's art studio is visited by dozens each day. Here, I'll give you a little push, okay? Where they come for this brand of therapy. Just about all of them are here for long-term care, some with cognitive issues. Sunny the cockatiel aids as they paint and mold, but an equal contribution to the puzzle of mental acuity appears to be socializing. That is another tool researchers believe helps stave off memory loss and thinking issues that can lead to dementia. And it's meditating, you know, meditating. Though Irene James is here for a short-term stay after surgery, her smile told us what she was getting out of all of it. It was one of the biggest in the room and hard to miss. Oh, I love it because I worked for 30 years and I didn't really socialize. Keswick president and CEO Carmen Rokes says the gains are measured in small increments. She says things like brushing their own hair or even dressing themselves are proof the program is working. The quality of their life is improved. They have something to look forward to. Yet for others, and especially Miss Godsey, who is going into her third year in the program, gains are measured in what is reimagined. I was a very independent person, and to have to come here and depend on other people. <laughs> Does it kind of help you get some of that back? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Every little bit helps. Program's actually been going on there for quite some time, and they say they plan on continuing it into the future.